Copper processing is a complicated process that begins with the mining of the ore, less than 1% copper, and ends with the sheets of 99.99 pure copper called cathodes, which will ultimately be made into the products for everyday use. The most common types of ore, copper oxide and copper sulfide, undergo two different processes, hydrometallurgy and power metallurgy, respectively due to different chemistries of the ore. Copper oxides are more abundant than near the surface, but are considered low-grade ore, with a lower concentration of copper, although this requires more ore to be extracted and processed. This process is less expensive, so oxides can still be mined as a profit. On the other hand, with blood copper sulfide ores are less abundant, they contain higher amounts of copper. The first steps of copper processing are the same for both ores, mining and transporting. Copper mining is usually performed using open pit mining, in which is a series of step benches are dug deeper and deeper into the earth over time. To remove the ore, boring machinery used to drill holes into the hard rock, and explosives are inserted into the drill holes to blast break the rock. The resulting boulders are then ready for hauling. Specialized haul trucks, conveyors, trains and shell cars can all be used to haul the ore from the blasting site to the processing site. The size of the equipment needs to hold the tons and the tons of ore is a gigantic. Most ores are then sent through a primary crusher, which is typically located very close to the sometimes into the pit. The primary crusher reduces the size of the ore from boulder to gold ball sized rock. Oxide ores are generally processed using hydrometallurgy. This process uses aqueous solution to extract and purify copper from copper oxide source at ordinary temperatures, usually in three steps – heat bleaching, solvent extraction and electromining.
Heat bleaching is the process of using percolating chemical solution of bleach out metals. Heat bleaching is very commonly used for a low-grade ore, which would otherwise not be economical to send through a miling process. Following mining, transporting and crushing to a consistent gravel or a gold bowl size, the crushed ore is appealed into the heap on the top of an interpretable layer on a slide slop. The leaching region is sprayed through sprinklers on the top of the heap pile and allowed to trickle down through the heap, where it dissolves the copper from the ore. The resulting pregnant bleach solution of the sulfuric acid and a copper sulfate is collected in a small pool. The copper compound can now be seen at a concentration of between 60 to 70 percent. The second step is a solid extraction, in which two immiscible liquids are stirred into allowed to separate causing the copper to move from one liquid to the other. The pregnant latch solution is mixed variously with a solvent. The copper migrates from the latch solution into the solvent. The two liquids are then allowed to separate based on the solubility, with copper remaining in solution in the solvent and impurities remaining in the each solution, the leftover leach solution and then recycled by adding additional acid and sending it back to the sprinklers in the heap leaching process. The last step is a cold electrovining, a type of electrolysis. An electrical current passes through an inner denote and through the copper solution from the previous step, which act as electrolyte. Positively charged copper ions as a 99.99% .99 pure copper, 